and welcome to today's video where I'm talking about how to make money from your art in 2022. Now, if you're an artist or creative like myself and you have a burning passion to monetize what you make um, or what you deliver if you run workshops or courses, then this video is for you. If you're new here, then welcome. My name's Sophie and I help artists to build a profitable business around their existing art practice. If that sounds like you, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to get notified every time I post a new video. All right, let's go ahead and dive into this content. What do you need to be doing in order to make money from your art this year in 2022? Okay, I'm gonna share with you seven simple steps to help you to make money from your art in 2022. And it all starts with number one, and that is having a crystal clear vision of where you're going. Now, this is something I talk about a lot, and for some reason, it seems to be a stumbling block. We're artists and creatives. You would think that that would be the easiest thing in the world to come up with a vision of what you want, but somehow there can often be that little saboteur in the back of your mind where you think, I really want to achieve X, and the little voice says, well, who are you to even think about doing that? Have you got some, a little voice like that in your head? I know that I have. So we dream really big and we think about the things we want to achieve and then sometimes we can allow that little voice or doubt or the saboteur to get in the way. So I want you today to just put that little voice away and imagine a world where anything is possible, which it is by the way. And I want you to think about what really is your vision? Where do you want to be a year from now, two years from now, three years, five years? even 10 if you're a little bit younger than me and you're watching this video. What do you want to create with your art and with your art business? And once you've really worked that out, I want you to go ahead and write it down. There's nothing more powerful than actually writing it down in your notebook. It's very different from typing it and having a document on your computer that you never look at. But by actually writing it hand, writing it out, this is my vision for my art business. I want to create X. So that is your first task, that's the first step. So step two, once we know where we want to go, step two of course is to have a plan, a step-by-step -step plan, like a roadmap of how you're gonna get there. And that's really what we call the artist business plan. So if you've ever done a business plan before and you're thinking, oh my God, that's a really big document, Sophie, I don't wanna to have to create anything as large as that. Don't worry, the way I teach it, I make it much, much easier. It's much smaller, it's a much simpler document, and it just gives you the things that you need as an artist in order to get where you want to go. So building out that business plan um, was going to help you. So here's my vision, this is where I want to go, this is where I am right now, what are the steps that I need to take in order to get there? The business plan is your ultimate roadmap to help you to gain success. Without a business plan, you've really not got the focus, the clarity. You haven't worked out what products or services you're gonna be selling, what price point, which audience are you selling, you know, what's your marketing, how are you gonna put all of that together? And so many times I meet people who are saying, oh, I really wanna make money from my art, like, I've got all these pictures stacked up in my studio, or I've got a fantastic workshop that a few people love, but I can't seem to fill that. I can't seem to sell my online course. I'm struggling to sell the paintings. And I look at them and I think, well, these are all really good products or services. And I guarantee you there's just a few reasons why you're not selling them. And it starts with having a plan. Having a plan not only enables you to have a step-by-step -step process, but the actual doing part of creating the plan um, enables you to realize what's possible and what's not possible. So look out for the video that's coming up straight after this. This is a brand new, um, fresh take on business planning. I've got quite a few business plan videos on this channel, but I'm gonna give you a brand new one for 2022. So make sure that you're subscribed to the channel so that you don't miss that video coming up next. Okay, step three, and this is critical. You want to make sure that you have products and services that your audience actually wants or needs. And this can very often be a little bit more weighted in the services department, because as a fine artist, we're creating um, and we're producing what we're passionate about and then we're going to be making sure that that audience that we've got really wants 
what we're creating, but it might just be as simple as your ideal audience wants an artwork that's ready to hang and you're insistent on just creating canvases with rough edges or you like to paint on homemade paper and you just don't want to be bothered to frame it up and you discover that your ideal audience actually wants you to make that choice with the frame because they don't want the hassle of going to get it framed. They're not really sure what type of frame to put it in. They want a finished product that they can just go, bang, I love it, I'm putting it on the walls. And for example, once you've worked out that that's what your audience wants, they don't want to have to make any decision, then by not providing that, you're gonna be losing out on sales. So this all comes down to what we talked about in step number two, having the business plan. Because once you've done and built the business plan, you'll have a profile of your ideal audience. You'll understand their needs, their wants, their desires, and how they think and how they feel, and what they're ultimately looking for. So going back to if you're running services, quite often we think to ourselves as teachers or workshop creators, I know I'm going to create a workshop on X but without finding out if your audience is interested in that, you could go to all the lengths of putting together workshop or course and find that your audience isn't really interested. So you need to make sure that in that case, you do the research first and create a service that your audience is actually looking for. Step number four, this is the big one. This is the one that most of you are just not doing. And I'm gonna tell you, it's the number one reason why you're not making money from your art right now. And that is, you have got to be making offers on a regular basis. So what do I mean by that? So example A, we finished a painting, we put it on our website, and we sit there waiting for the little email that says someone's bought it. Option two, uh, you created an online course, it's listed on your website or on some course platform, you're sitting waiting for the ka sound on your phone, nothing's happening, you get the idea. You've got to actually actively create an offer around what you've got and put it out to your audience. So too many times we've got a studio full of work, we've got items listed on a workshop, on a, on a website, if you are not actively saying, right, okay, I'm going to create a campaign and over the next two months, my goal is to sell this amount. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm going to have an exhibition. I'm going to have a virtual exhibition. I'm going to run my course, run my workshop. I've got some new items going into my online shop, but I'm going to make a campaign out of it. I'm going to make a big deal out of it. I'm going to let everybody know that for 48 hours, they get a special discount off this collection. If you don't create offers on a regular basis, you're just not gonna be making the sales. We can't sit back passively waiting and hoping for the audience to buy. You know, especially if you are a fairly new artist, and that tends to be the people that I'm speaking to. If you're further down the line and you're more established, you've kind of got that snowball effect, you've got the audience, they love what you want, you create something new, they buy it. It's all, it's all good and it's all done at that point. But when you are new to business and you're a fairly new artist and you want to get things going, you have got to be creating offers. All right, that's step number four. Step number five is to get great at your marketing and learn to love it. Because by not doing any marketing, you are not putting that offer in front of your ideal audience. Again, it's all a passive situation. We've got the product, we've worked out who the audience is, but we're not doing any work to put the two together. So you've got to be doing marketing on a day-by-day -day basis, on a week-by-week -week basis. You wanna create that weekly marketing routine. And if you can learn to love it, so if you can imagine that when you're doing the marketing, you're in a creative zone, right? You put on a fantastic playlist. This is what I do. I put on a music playlist that lifts me and I love, or I go to my favorite cafe and I sit in this lovely kind of cafe environment. I have my favorite coffee and I do some marketing. So you need to make it an exciting thing or you just won't do it. Number six, you want to really take yourself seriously as a business owner. If you're gonna make money, you want to make money or you want to make more money in 2022, you have got to step into the shoes and become a full-time business owner, all right? It's not gonna happen if you are still sitting in hobby status. So make sure to check out my video 
um, link above about the difference between hobby and business because very often you're still sitting in a hobby status and you haven't actually moved to business owner. If you want to monetize, you need to move to business owner and then you've got the plan and you've got the marketing and you're doing all the activity. And a lot of it is about how you perceive yourself. You know, sometimes it's hard to stand there and say, I am an artist. It can be even harder to stand there and say, I am an art business owner. In fact, I encourage you right now to pause this video to stand up and declare wherever you are, I am an art business owner. Now that doesn't matter if you're making zero dollars at the moment. You have a plan, you have the intention, and you're going to do the work towards it. Everything starts from zero, right? This is your year. This is the year to turn everything, you know, go from zero to wherever you want to go. This is the year where you can make the business real. But again, you just need to have these steps that I've already mentioned. And the final step, step number seven, is what I alluded to at the beginning. It's all up in here, all right? If you believe you can, you will do. If you believe you can't, that's gonna come true as well for you. So there's some things to work on. There's some belief, perhaps. You know, if you believe a certain thing, oh, I believe it's hard to make money. If you have the belief that artists don't make money, artists always have a job on the side and find it really difficult to make money, or you know, artists are always poor, or, or any of those hampering beliefs, they will hold you back. So the most important part really is step seven, and that is the mindset part. You wanna work on your beliefs, your values. You want to work on that vision, that step one, the clearer the vision is, but then of course you wanna work on the belief of the vision. So being able to step into it and see it, see it um, having actualized and believe it, building your confidence to do these things. None of it's gonna happen overnight, but I promise you, you can work on all of it and you absolutely can make money from your art. So I hope that's got you a bit excited. I hope that's got you motivated, inspired, inspired to do the work. Start off with your vision and do share in the comments below what your vision is because I would love to hear that as well. And then don't forget, if you're subscribed to the channel, you'll get a notification next time I post the video which is gonna be this time next week on the Wednesday because that's when I put out a new video every week. All right, thank you so much for watching. Let's make 2022 the best year for artists. Um, and as I say, if don't forget to let us know in the comments below how you are going. All right, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.